hello everyone today I'm going to show you how to correct scanline corrector you know since May 31st of the year 2003 the Lancer 7 ETM scanline corrector had fault the sensor developed a fault and ever since all Lancer 7 images comes with gap lines which results to 22 percent of data loss so so over the years so many algorithms have been written to enable this issue result but well, today we'll be using one of them which is QGIS and we'll be using it to correct those scan lines to do that every Lancer 7 comes with a gap max and the 8 and BQA band so on the gap max you have to unzip all the 8 bands because this one will be able you use it to fill those gaps and you create a folder for fill gap so that you will easily identify them so back to QGIS here you go to raster analysis then to sorry, analysis then to fill fill new data then you select the input layer navigate to okay ban one okay then your output we'll put it in that lay that folder we created fill gap say view oh. this one's where the former work I've done let me do another folder or bearers to create another folder new folder so. let's just put it here since trying to delay our time or well, even back in here we can just say b1 b1 save depend on just get a folder you know then this validity max check it and you go to gap max band one open now you are set to go it's processing ok our cleaning is over you can see there is no any sign of any sign of those lines that have been corrected so you could do this you do it one here you do it one by one all the bands you need you just do follow the same procedure again and you get over with it so thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen just do us the favor to subscribe share and
like the video comment and thank you very much